we are back at the track. Um, Steven is actually over in the club's bus doing announcing. They just wrapped up the first heat. Steven is about to race in the second heat. I'll be racing after him in the third heat. So we're back on track, um, super excited. Steven did make some modifications to the suspension. So he um, raised the center, roll center. So we're gonna see how that goes today. And he also put the old shifter back in because we were having a little issues shifting from first to second with the new shifter. So hopefully those two things will help us and we can take home those trophies today. All right, here we go, let's race. Number one, confusing course. See yeah. how it goes. a time of 48.7. Good or bad? 
mapping it out. I need to look at the score and see where we're actually sitting at. Alright, this is my second run. My first run I got like a 53 something. Had a couple of hiccups with cones, but I read the course okay. I'm going to try to send it again, but this time not breaking in some of the areas where I can just do a lift. plus two cones one of them I just <laughs> thought if I hit it fast enough they won't even see it um but I felt much better that time I felt like I was reading the course easily um, I wasn't really having to think about where to go I just went um, there's a couple places I'm a little too tight and I'm losing a lot of time trying to overcorrect, so I need to give up the speed a little bit so I can better position myself for a better exit on some obstacles. But it's really fun actually, I liked it. Um, we're only doing four runs today, so I'm halfway finished and I don't have a clean run, so I gotta put it all together. Run number three, currently sitting first in class, but not in pecs. Let's see what we can do. A time of 57.5. Yeah. Was, was it clean? Was it clean? So I'm proud of you. Clean? What? Clean? Yeah. Woo hoo! Hell yeah, man. Good luck right that there. Was, that was good. <laughs> Alright, this is my third run. After looking at the times, if I get it clean, I'll be in first. Number four coming up, last run. Currently sitting in first in class and first in packs. We'll see if we can uh, knock any more time off. This is second heat at the moment. I don't know if it was any faster. Oh, my thing failed. Woo! 
Yeah, that was a clean run, clean run. Yeah. Wow. I got a little sideways that I didn't do on the other ones, but... Thank you. 47-4, more time off. Wow. Yes. Amazing. Dude, Good nice job. job. Dude, that I... You put it down some smokers this morning and put a pressure on me. <laughs> awesome thank you so far you're sitting in first we'll have to see what the other ladies run but that was a really good time thank you baby we did it we did it we did really well on this event uh so going in we kind of knew the the season championship up to five events and there's eight total so we kind of knew going in that we needed to really do really good on this event uh we were we're in really close uh, battle so Ash, for ladies class, you were like one or two points thereabout mm -hmm. uh, ahead of second place. Um, so really close there. And then for me, I'm really going for that overall PAX championship. So I was sitting in second place uh, going into this event. Uh, so the pressure was on. And as Ashley said in the intro, I made some changes to the car and kind of unsure. Kind of just winging it uh i i thought that it would do well but uh didn't actually know until we got out there on course and boy did it uh it did really well uh, and we got good feedback from several people yeah it looked like the car was really hooking up um probably maybe need to do a little bit of attention on the rear end the rear end was maybe a little little loose but the front end is uh is it's good pointing very nice um so for me for class I finished first in class. Uh, there was mm -hmm. some really good competition in uh, in class that really pushed me. There was a, a Corvette that had a brand new uh, big wing on the back, so he was uh, hooking up, had some good uh, downforce going on on that car, mm -hmm. trying to make that car uh, a lot faster. And then there was the GT350R that was there, and uh, he, he had, had some, new work uh, done too. He had some big canards on the front. Uh, mm -hmm try that out and a, and a splitter that's been on there at a couple events but that was also new for this year yeah. uh, but then for packs overall I did really well I came and I finished first so <laughs> the the street cars that have really good packs they were in the first heat um, I ran in the second heat so I kind of knew where I needed to be because those were the cars that I'm competing with really the guy that's in first and overall is he runs a, a stock MR2 so I kind of knew where he was at and then there's a GR86 that's doing really well so I kind of knew where they were at so I knew I needed to really push uh, to to get into that first place and, and you did and I did and took FTD as well so this is my first time I think taking uh, FTD and, and and top packs. So Aww. that's that. This one was pretty awesome. I've taken top packs, but never both, uh, both FTD and top packs. So the car is doing doing really well. 
My then, runs were super awesome too. I yeah. was really nervous about the course. I was very unsure, but I don't know. Once you get out there, instincts kick in and your adrenaline's just going. And so I just like went for it and I feel like I improved each run. I started yeah. off pretty dirty. And you also had a little bit of rain that uh, I did have rain. probably that impacted. Was not that fun. Yeah. The rain probably impacted um, the, the course, so I made it a little wet. But. Yeah, but I also finished first. Um, yep. And I was very excited because, like you said, the pressure was on. There's not a big gap in the ladies' class, so I knew I needed to put down a good time. I felt really good in the car. The car was going where I wanted it to go. I was really pushing myself as a driver, like yep. pushing more, breaking leaders, kind of finding that spot. Um, and you really needed that last run because all the ladies dropped dropped pot time on their their last runs, and so did you. So like the, the yeah, it's been a great competition. Um, mm -hmm. It's really fun to race in the ladies' class with other women who are competitive yet supportive. So we all kind of just push ourselves, and I felt like I did a really good job. I'm super excited. Yeah, no, you did a really good job. Um, and then to finish this out, um, we got the quick comparison video between mine and Ashley's run. Uh, so yeah. I'll show that right now. You can kind of see in it, uh, we're kind of close to the same as we're going around what I call the loop-de-loop. -loop. <laughs> and, and as we uh, enter into the, the slalom area, I held the throttle longer, or got on the throttle more, or something, and just Pulled, pulled away. Um, looking at the speeds as we go through the, the back sweeper, they were pretty similar, but then again, after the sweeper, I just held the accelerator or something or got a better run out of it, I don't know. Uh, and then just had a higher top speed going into the, the finish chicane area. And so those were the two areas that I really pulled away and got the two and a half seconds over, I think. Some things to learn. I definitely can tell a difference when I rode with you that one time, mm -hmm. how you push the car and how I just kind of drive the car. So it's definitely something that I can work on, um, just keeping more speed throughout an obstacle and not entering or leaving it slowly. Entering aggressively, carrying speed, leaving aggressively when I'm able to. But. Yeah, and and this isn't an easy car to drive. It's it's loose at times. It wants to spin tires. It's yeah. It's not an easy car to drive. So you're doing really, yeah. really well. Thanks. It was a fun day. I really, yeah. at the end of the day, I enjoyed the course. I was nervous, but it was challenging, and that's the mm -hmm. whole point when you're heading toward the end of your season. Yeah, yeah. It's, there were a couple of people that uh, there was a lot of off courses at times in one area, and some people said that it was a little confusing to read. But we need to, you know, step it up and challenge ourselves. And I mean, overall, I I thought the course was good. I, I, I thought it was it, great so. at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Well. Thank you guys for watching. Two wins. Two wins. Double. So excited. Double podium. Uh, we got more autocrosses coming up. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.